Today we're going to be playing The Sims 4, but each day is a different pack. I've been wanting to do this for a while now, so let me explain the rules. So every Sims day at 8 a.m., we're going to come here. This is James's random pack generator, and we're going to randomize a pack. Then we're going to spend 24 hours doing as many activities from that pack that we can do until the next day rolls around, 8 a.m., we come back here, we do it all again. I'm going to be removing kits from this equation just because most of them include, like, cash, or build items. Not a lot of gameplay and definitely not enough to fill an entire Sims day. And if we land on a stuff pack, I'm gonna combine that with another one. So we'll roll again, try and get an expansion pack or game pack, and that day will just be combined with an extra stuff pack. I found out there's a generations challenge similar to this where you do kind of the same thing, but generationally, which is a really cool idea. I just, I have no interest in playing over 25 generations. My attention span can't handle it. I don't even think I have the capability. Plus I think this is going to be really fun. And this video is sponsored by Toon Blast. Toon Blast is a free-to-play mobile game available on all devices where you can solve puzzles by blasting cubes and creating powerful combos to pass levels. There are over 7,000 fun levels to explore with tons of super cute characters that'll make you want to help the Toon Gang while traveling across magical worlds. Toon Blast is super easy to learn. You can team up with other players to unlock awesome rewards, participate in fun and challenging mini games, and and compete against other players around the world to win some pretty cool prizes. You don't even need Wi-Fi to play, and the best part is there are no ads to interrupt your gameplay, which is great because, let's be honest, that can get a little annoying. <laughs> I have been going on road trips this summer, and because you don't need Wi-Fi to play, I have just been sitting in the car like a little passenger princess playing Tomb Blast. It has been a really fun way to pass the time. <laughs> on top of that, there are millions of reviews and high ratings on the App Store and Google Play, so you can download Toon Blast now by clicking the link down in my description or scanning the QR code and receive three hours of unlimited lives plus 100 coins. Thank you so much to Toon Blast for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. So let's go ahead and generate for the first day and we're going to be doing spooky stuff. Okay, we're going to combine that with another pack. So let's go ahead and generate again, hoping for an expansion pack or game pack and we're doing snowy escape. Okay, so obviously we're going to have to live down here in Mount Kemerebi. That's the world that comes with snowy escape. And I've moved my sim down here into this starter home. This is going to be our sim today. This is Alex Kasoy. She's from Totally Spies. And I think first we should decorate her home for Halloween using spooky stuff. We have a bunch of these debug pumpkins. They're zero simoleons. I'm gonna put these outside. I'm gonna put a bunch of different variations here. I'm also gonna use these skull lights, but I'm gonna shrink them. I actually feel like they're pretty cute when they're shrunken. And I'm just gonna line the window with these. They're almost like little skull fairy lights that way. Looking cute. I think I wanna add a little bit of landscaping to this lot as well, so I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, here's our house all decked out for Halloween. I added some of the little ghosty lights, a bunch of pumpkins, and a couple more plants as well. So now we're ready to go about our day, and I think we should head up to the slopes first in Mount Kamarabi. We've got no time to waste. <laughs> oh, it's really coming down here today. I'm definitely gonna stick to the bunny slopes. Let's try and go skiing. Let's just try it. We'll do one time. <laughs> this girl is like, are you crazy? <laughs> you should not be going out there. She's like weighing out my survival rate. <laughs> I think we're gonna really commit here and change my outfit to something from spooky stuff. Do I want to go down the bunny slope as a pirate, a zombie, or a fairy? That would be kind of funny. Let's do this. Okay, let's go. She's like, you're gonna die. I am heading over there in my fairy suit, ready to take on any challenge that comes my way. Is she taking selfies? Like, girl, no one is gonna want to see this, I promise. Okay, here we go. I'm nervous for her. We've obviously never done this. We got some loner skis from the lodge. They're a little janky and don't fit that well. I'm so sure it'll be fine. Oh god, she's fast. Here she comes. Oh no, there's a child at the end. Watch out. Oh my god. Oh, skiing is terrible. Alex does not seem like she's having a good time. Should she gain the dislike skiing preference? I think, yeah. After that, I'm not gonna argue there. Oh no, she got hurt. We are off to a rough start. There's a mysterious man like coming out of the cave to come and talk to me. What's going on? Do you know each other? I think he might be a spellcaster. Maybe he can heal me. Oh my gosh, do you want to come sledding with me? Let's do it. Whoa! Ah, Go sledding on the bunny slope. <laughs> 
with this random person. Oh. Oh. At least I'm not the only one completely eating it on the way down. All right, let's do this. We're gonna get on our little green sled. Yeah, you go at the front. <laughs> Here they come. Oh. <laughs> Are we gonna wipe out at the end? Oh my gosh, I'm afraid. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I think we're gonna need an ambulance. Okay, I'm gonna continue on this way. I'm pretty sure I can go on a little hike. I can go rock climbing if I want to. I feel like that's a bad idea. You could die. Ten seconds later. Let's go check out the rock climbing wall. We're gonna inspect maybe the conditions. <laughs> She's like, God, please don't make me do it. Oh, this place is terrifying. Oh no, we're running inside. It's a blizzard. Okay, I probably sh Oh, <laughs> I don't think I should be climbing any rock walls. I can't even make it back to the lodge. You know what? I think I'm gonna run my way and we're gonna go into the hot springs. Everyone is just falling. The hot springs is probably a much safer bet. Wait, maybe I can get like a hot chocolate. Oh, actually they have hot soup. Even better, let's get a hot miso soup for the road. <laughs> Yay, okay, let's go over to the hot springs and we're, we're just gonna relax for a little bit. It's a thunder snowstorm, which actually I encountered my first one ever. <laughs> it's a real thing and it is really weird and scary. I'm kind of just trying to wait it out here until the snow stops. Maybe we can make a couple friends while we're in here. Kato, why did you make the water green? I'm getting the heck out of here. You know what? I am having some bad luck here today. Get out. <laughs> go. Somebody needs to take care of that. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in here, take a shower, maybe like clean myself up a little bit. I still have my soup that I want to eat. And maybe if the weather is bad, we can go down into a different area of Mount Kamarabi. Okay, I've got my outfit back on. We're gonna come over here and have some soup. She's not really feeling the greatest because of the dirty water and the hot spring, but the snow has cleared, so maybe Maybe we can go and try rock climbing now. We're gonna climb cautiously. I really don't wanna die on day one. All right, here she goes. I'm pretty sure she's gonna fall. Oh, I'll hand it to her. She is doing this pretty cautiously. Oh no, but she doesn't seem to be getting that high off the ground. So like every time she falls, it's not that bad. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. The only thing I haven't tried is snowboarding. So I'm just gonna do that one time and then I think we're gonna go to the karaoke bar. It is getting dark though, so oh god. Let's see if we can make it to the ground without wiping out. No, oh no. Hopefully tomorrow is a little less painful. Okay, let's get poor Alex out of here. Let's go somewhere a little less <laughs> active. I brought along my two friends with me and I'm sorry, but Kato is one of the most handsome sims in the whole game. I'm not afraid to say it. I'm gonna grab a drink in here. I don't think I'm gonna stay for too long. Although this does seem to be cheering her up a little bit. Whoa, what happened to you? <laughs> Oh no, there are so many things wrong here. She had a rough day. I feel like she deserves to just kind of hang out here for a bit. I wish we could have spent a little bit more time outdoors today, but the weather just wasn't quite right. So I think I'm just gonna finish my drink here and head home to prepare for tomorrow. Okay, it's 8 a.m. Let's go back to the generator and see what we're doing today. So I removed the two that we just got and today we're going to be doing my wedding stories oh no should i get married i only know four people three of which are married so i guess that leaves simeon what a name a sim named simeon okay you know what we're gonna travel to tartosa this is a world that comes with my wedding stories oh god okay i have 24 hours to get married <laughs> So I decided we would come to the beach here to search for any potential bachelors. We are just going from one weather extreme to the next here. Maybe I'll send her swimming. I'm just gonna see if anyone shows up and maybe I'll just give it a couple hours. If we don't find anyone by then, we're calling up Simeon. I don't think I've ever actually gone swimming here, but this is gorgeous. Look at that blue water. You do your thing over there. I'm gonna be searching. All right, we've got Daniel Clark, the male guy. <gasps> Wait, who's this guy? The flower dude. Hold up. Okay, this is perfect because we can go and buy flowers, pretending we're super interested in buying them, and hopefully we can get to know this guy. Get out of the water quick. Wait, I'm gonna change into my cute little outfit that I had. Okay, please don't be married. Um, 
They're so expensive. Okay, maybe we should just get like, I mean, I don't want to buy the cheapest one you get. I'm trying to make an impression. Fine, I guess I'll just have to buy a rose. This is robbery. $144 for a rose, a single one. Okay, so um, what are you doing after this? I'm gonna have to just keep talking to this poor man while he's working until he's done. And hopefully by then we have enough romantic connection to get married. Come on, they would be the cutest couple. They honestly seem to be hitting it off. I don't think I've ever met this sim though, so I don't really know if he is married. I'm gonna ask him to cloud gaze and see if we can get him away from the flower thing. All right, we are just cloud gazing away. Oh, look at the nails. All right, get up. We don't have time for this. Oh, but he did close the shop. This is a good sign. I'm gonna get them to go and sit and chat by this fountain over there. This is such a cute little like date, even though it's not really a date yet. <gasps> He's romantic. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to find out if you're single. Ask if single. He's single. Yes, I'm never this lucky. Okay, I don't want to move along too quickly here, but we're gonna try and do the photo trick. We're gonna take some pictures together. This normally like raises the friendship up a lot. Very cute. Oh yeah, work. I I think it's time to take this to the next level. I'm probably gonna have to pull an all-nighter here. <laughs> we gotta start the flirtation. Maybe we should go like somewhere else. She's getting hungry. Let's try and go get some food. Oh, perfect. We can order maybe some bread rolls. <laughs> this random old man has joined us, making it very difficult to flirt. <laughs> she just picked up her breadsticks and moved over here. Good move. <laughs> yes, we have the romantic bar. Sir, do you mind? Sir, please. <laughs> It's getting late. I still am nowhere near marriage. I've been trying to do this all day. Oh, we have the first kiss option. Come on, Alex. Yes, it worked. It worked. Sims gods, thank you. It's eight o'clock. I have 12 hours. Ask to be boyfriend. Oh my God, I'm gonna get denied for sure. Let's go ask like over here. Wait, we can woohoo? I mean, that'll help. <laughs> Okay, wait, every time I did it, it like paused and like, I think the game thinks they went to go do it because my relationship bar skyrocketed, but they didn't. I'm just gonna ask to be boyfriend and see if we can just do this now. Alex, because I would like you to be their boyfriend, do you accept? Yes, let's give this a try. <laughs> Only in The Sims. Actually, honestly, maybe not. But now they're dating. Okay, let's hurry this up here. Propose. I'm scared. She's proposing. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to go and do like the fastest wedding. This is my wedding stories. Did she say no? Oh no. He said no. <laughs> I mean, I can't really blame you. I feel like I got rejected. She's so sad. Look at her. Oh no. Is he trying to recover? Oh, this is so sad. You know what? I think I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna just go to the wedding venue. <laughs> Literally the saddest thing ever. I'm gonna go there alone and hope that someone is having a wedding there. <laughs> like, I guess I can go participate in wedding things, even though I won't be the one getting married. I'll go walk up the aisle. <laughs> I still have to do something for this pack. I'll go fit size about weddings. This is literally the saddest thing ever. She's practicing walking down the aisle. Oh, this hurts. The wave. She's fantasizing about the wedding. My heart. Okay, well, I guess we should go home. Wait a minute. Is that phase? No, I don't think I want to talk to you right now. You? Uh-oh. What's he doing? He just walked right up to the altar. <gasps> I've been thinking about this a lot and wanted to ask if you'd like to live together. Okay, on one hand, this is kind of what we wanted, right? On the other hand, I'm kind of heartbroken right now, but it is kind of cute that he just showed up here and randomly asked that. You know what? We're not gonna get married, but I do think there's potential here. Let's do it. Okay, at least we'll get some money. <laughs> what a crazy 24 hours this has been. I feel kind of sad that we didn't get a whole lot done with my wedding stories, but this is still kind of cute. Come on. Maybe there is a future for these two after all. Also, it's so cute that he's standing on like the big stair and she's on like the little stair and he gave her a rose a free one at that fine i'll accept your apology there phase and she likes flirtation okay you know what we're gonna go home everything is fine now her moodlet has changed i think it's time to go home now oh the trees look really pretty okay let's go to bed and okay 8 a.m let's see what we're gonna be doing today well first of all taking a bath <laughs> and we really need some fun in our lives right now oh, we need a few things so let's go see what we're gonna do this is gonna be day three and 
and for day three, we're going to be doing cats and dogs. Okay, this is definitely going to up the fun. We're gonna get a dog. We've got a little bit of money too, so we can afford to buy like food and stuff. I'm gonna buy a pet bowl and I'm gonna wait to buy a bed just to see what kind of dog we get. In the meantime, I'm gonna get Faith to make some food. He is quite the character. Look at his underwear with a kiss on the butt. He's definitely like the Don Lothario of Tartosa. Oh my God, please don't kill us. I'm gonna call up the dog adoption agency once I'm done with my bath. Oh, he actually pulled off the eggs and toast pretty well. I'm impressed. Okay, let's pick our dog. This is so hard because they're always all so cute. But look at Peaches. Oh my gosh, and Rose. One of my friends had a bull mastiff and they are huge, but they are the sweetest dogs. I gotta get Peaches. We gotta get Peaches spayed though. I do not want to deal with that again. Oh, is that the adoption lady outside? She's gonna bring Peaches in a little carrier. She put them outside. Oh my heart. I always forget how tiny they are. Let's do a cautious introduction. We don't know anything about you, Peaches. Oh my God. I freaking cannot with cats and dogs. It's so cute. The head tilts. Okay, we're adopting you. Easy, done. Peaches, you're mine. We're keeping the name Peaches and we're going with Alex's last name since you didn't want to marry me, Faze. Peaches is a kasoy. Oh my God, oh my heart. Okay, I need to get my fun up. I really want to play with you. We may as well try and get our potty training going. So I'm asking Peaches to go potty and she did it on the first try. Good girl, Peaches. Wait, we have to praise you. You deserve all the praise. No, Peaches, get out of the puddle. Oh, Peaches is a troublemaker. They're more difficult to train and you can even encourage their misbehavior. Oh. <laughs> Great. Okay, so I have brought Peaches to the park, which I didn't know it was called Pupper Stone Park in Brindleton Bay, which is the world that comes with cats and dogs. Although I don't think I can do any of the training stuff over here since Peaches is still just a puppy, but we can maybe meet up with some other dogs, make some doggy friends. I also don't think I can get her spayed yet since she's only a puppy. And I'm gonna invite Faze here too, because this is a moment. I feel like we should experience it together. <gasps> Look at Peaches go. Oh no, there's a dog over here, but he's not feeling good. Is that gonna be contagious? Oh, there's another dog right there. Cautious introduction. Why are you barking at Peaches? Peaches is so small compared to the other dogs. This dog is trying to be my friend, I think. And we offered our friendship to Peaches and I think it worked. We're gonna give you a treat. I guess I have to give this one a treat too. I can't do one and not the other. Faze is riding a bicycle. <laughs> okay. Or, or standing on the bicycle rather. Um... <laughs> All right. Okay, I don't think I can actually train Peaches to do much of anything. We will. I think I definitely should have got like an adult dog so that I could do more of these things, but how could I have said no to Peaches? Tell me that. Okay, maybe we can all go home. We can have like a cute little first night. There's a spider on my lens. Why does this always happen to me? One second. This is the real reason I'm moving. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go fill the bowl. Peaches hasn't eaten today, so I should probably get her to eat. I'm gonna buy her a little bed. I feel like I'm gonna have to get a bigger one because she's gonna be big later, but that's gonna do for now. And I'll get her a toy box as well. And we'll just put that beside the dresser. I'm like paranoid there's a spider now. I think I should give Peaches one of the new balls that I got. She's gonna be so excited. Yes, she is fired up. Here you go. Oh, is she gonna be able to play with it? She's so small. Oh my gosh. I was kind of thinking that because this is cats and dogs, maybe I should also get a cat. I still have a little bit of time left in the day, so let's try and get... Should we get the raccoon cat? I'm doing it. I hope Peaches and the, the raccoon get along. Maybe I can move the bonsai tree outside, like right over there, and then we can get something for the cat and that can go right by the window. We're also gonna need another bowl. And oh my goodness, there's Maddie. Maddie the raccoon already loving the cat thing that we just bought. We're gonna go cautious introduction again. And either she hasn't noticed Peaches or she doesn't care. Okay, we're gonna adopt Maddie Kasoy. Yay, oh, this is kind of cute. Oh, let's play with the laser pointer. I wonder if Peaches is gonna get in on this. This is getting our fun levels up too. Our little family is growing. I love it. We of course need a bed for our raccoon. And I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the day hanging out with my animals here. All right, 8 a.m. We are having some bad weather here again. It's been storming all night. I'm gonna come back here and generate to see what we're gonna do for day four. And we're doing jungle adventure. Ooh, we're going on a trip. 
Okay, we're gonna have to go bright and early. I think we're gonna have to go on a vacation here. Can I like hire someone to look after my pets? I'm just gonna bring them, I guess. So all four of us are here in Selva Dorada, the jungle adventure vacation world. I guess I'm gonna have to modify this place for my pets. So I'll just get them a couple bowls and some beds. There we go. It has been a while since I've done anything with jungle adventure, but I've got some spider repellent in my inventory. I could have used that like five minutes ago. And I've got the jungle jungle machete and I'm pretty sure there's like a cave entrance somewhere. I'm gonna try and find it. I want to go on that jungle adventure. Ooh, okay. We got to go to this park. I'm gonna leave the animals safe and sound at the vacation rental. But FaZe, sorry buddy, you're coming along here. Okay, let's go try and clear the path over there with my machete. I think this is how we start the actual adventure. Should I read the poisonous posting? Probably. Oh, I think she cleared the path. <gasps> She's going in without reading the checklist. We've reached an abandoned campsite. A wild-eyed Sim emerges from the jungle and chases Alex. Uh-oh. Yeah, she's terrified. I'm gonna go actually to the market. Okay, I need to grab everything you've got. We're gonna buy some supplies. Stop watching TV. We've got a mission to go on. Ooh, this person over here has more supplies too. Am I really making her come to me? We could have just gone over to the vendor. All right, I was doing a little bit of research. I'm going to buy a cabin in a bag. We're gonna buy a cooler and I think that's gonna be it from this person. So we've got that stuff there in my inventory. And then I'm also gonna come over here. I'm just gonna purchase everything she's got on this table. Same as like over here, we'll buy the bat bait, a waterfall in a bottle, the more spider repellent, and then we'll be on our way. Okay, we've got our supplies. I'm gonna go over here to this park and now we should be able to travel through together. Okay, we came up to this like random area here. We've got a waterfall over there. It looks like a temple or something. This area is closed off until like the next vacation we go to, so we can't go there, but I can cross this bridge here. So we're gonna go there together. Ooh, what's this? Let's see what is like hidden in this pile of dirt. I really wanna find some treasure here. This is kind of taking a while. Faze, if you could just help me out here, please. <gasps> A swarm of bees. Uh oh. Well, I got an artifact shaped dirt clump. Oh, the bugs are bad. Okay, let's continue on. Let's go through this here. Oh, there's an entry over here. We can clear the path with the machete. In the meantime, I'm getting attacked by spiders. I have a spray though. Okay, we're good. Onward. Let's go, phase. There's a bathroom here we should probably use. Let's clear the path with the machete. Okay, we're going in again. <laughs> God. Okay, we've come up on this other side. It's been a long time since I've done this. I want to go into the temple though. Ooh, there's like some orbs around. Let's go clear the path. She's getting good with that machete. Okay, we're gonna whip out the cooler. Just grab like some cereal or something. We're gonna make sure both of them eat. Ooh, they're talking about treasure. And they're a little stinky, but other than that, they're doing pretty good. But all right, let's go travel through. Ooh, this is gonna be cool. This also might be an all-nighter here. Oh my gosh, I've arrived at the temple. How do I even get in here? Okay, I'm gonna go just like go here. This temple is a little intimidating. I won't lie. I know there's traps in here. You can get like poisoned, but I know there's also treasure. So I'm going into the temple and I'm noticing this door here is on fire. I need to figure out how I can get rid of that. There's this thing over here. Maybe I can try and like examine it first and then activate it. I'm gaining a charisma skill. We're taking notes, trying to learn what we can about the weird artifact. Ooh, and examining that shows us at least one one thing that is incorrect. So I have these other options, which I think might unlock the door. I'm gonna try and tell the skeleton pun. If that's incorrect, oh no, it's glowing red. It's laughing. <gasps> There's a skeleton behind me. Okay. Well, that clearly wasn't it. But now we've got skeletons walking around. What the heck? Let's try blame for temple dangers. You know, I wouldn't think it would be the angry route that would work. Uh-oh. And the fire is still burning. Wait, nothing worked. Okay, that's obviously not it. There must be another one. Oh, there is over here. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to examine this one again. You stay over there. After examining again for a few hours, our time was running out, but we found out the exact way to get through. Oh my gosh, that waterfall in a bottle just cleaned me. I didn't know that's what that was for. I thought it was for drinking, but we figured out the way to unlock this thing. So now the gate should open. Oh my gosh, yes. Is there treasure in here? But we've been blessed with glorious tastes. I mean, that's something. Every dish is delighting her taste buds. Even poorly prepared dishes have more redeeming qualities. Alex is a foodie, so she's probably stoked about that. So with hesitation, I passed through the first door. Oh, the next room is guarded by 
lightning. There are a bunch of like excavation sites here, but I'm not gonna have time for all that. Oh no, more skeletons. So I either have to activate them, these bowls, or their friends over there. Okay, let's start examining. She's feeling focused. And considering I've been traveling through the jungle all day, my needs are pretty good. Look at her, I think we found our calling. I've ruled out half of these ones. I'm gonna keep examining. I'm running out of time though. I don't know how far we're gonna make it through this temple. I don't know if it's this one either. Okay, we're gonna examine one more time. Maddie, what are you doing here? This is not the place for you. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go for it. Oh no, the glowing red eyes. Oh no, oh no. Okay, so it's not this one. I'm gonna just keep trying everything here. Oh, she passed out. Okay, we're ruling out this one too. So it's gotta be one of these ones. It's gonna be like the last thing I try. <gasps> Yes, we got it. That should unlock the lightning one. Please have treasure. My needs are suffering. I'm just gonna go for it. We're gonna just keep trying to do everything here. I don't have time to examine. <gasps> we got it. We got this one on like one of our first tries. Okay, we're coming through. How many levels to this are there? Looking at the map here, this has to be the final room. Okay, let's quickly just keep trying to get through this. <gasps> yes. We did it! We got two of them wrong. Okay, come on. Oh no, there's a couple treasure chests in here. Oh no, they're both glowing. Okay, we're gonna open them both. I'm worried that one of them might be cursed. Okay, we're gonna open up this treasure chest here. What are we gonna find? Yes! We got 3,000 simoleons from that. I can't believe we did that in 24 hours. <laughs> Is there a toilet in here? At the end, should just be like a glowing room of like everything to fix your needs. What do we have in here? That one only has 691 simoleons, but you know what? Oh, uh-oh. Seeing things that may or may not be real can keep Sims from nodding off anytime soon. Am I cursed? This has been crazy. Okay, we're all going home. I don't think she's gonna make it without using the bathroom, but what do I have in my inventory? Oh, I got one of the plates. Those are expensive. I can resell that for 8,000 simoleons. I also got a relic base and a bunch of bone dust. That was really cool. I'm glad we did that. There we go. We're all home. That was quite the adventure. I have so many needs to take care of. I think I might end this here. This has been really fun though and I kind of want to continue it. Let me know if you guys want to see another episode of this. I could totally do more and it's a really fun way to like do things that you haven't done in a while like that jungle adventure stuff. If you guys like the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe. Let me know if you guys want to see more. Thank you again to Tomb Blast for sponsoring today's video and again don't forget you can download Tomb Blast now by clicking the link down in my description and thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in the next one.